I've lived in Tahlequah, Oklahoma all the way up until I was like 25 or so. And so I was part of the same congregation uh, in our town. And it's always good to have the connection of the local church and just have the support of them always, no matter where we lived. I got into aviation, building airplanes. My wife and I, we had plans of moving to Saudi Arabia for a while. And as I got the job offer to build military planes over there, everything just seemed to work out perfectly. It seemed like this is God's plan. And so we sold our house and most things that we owned and moved over there. Living in Saudi Arabia as a white woman and a Christian, I always felt, you know, out of place. I always knew that there were people watching me because I stood out. I didn't wear a hijab. I never could quite figure out if that was more cultural or more religious. So I didn't wear the hijab and that made me stand out. It was interesting being an American over there, good and bad, being a Christian in a place like Saudi Arabia was probably the most adversity that I've ever faced. Just knowing that we were kind of being watched to make sure that we didn't spread our faith too much. When I first moved to Saudi Arabia, it was just me by myself. And so that initial six months was extremely difficult to not shrink spiritually. You don't really realize from America how important just worshiping with other Christians is being in an assembly with each other, having the fellowship with each other. We were so disconnected from other Christians. Your faith has to cover your full day. And it was a lot more evident in a place where five times a day you hear the Islamic prayers being blared at your apartment from megaphones. And that actually made it easier for us to pray more because it was a reminder, oh, we need to pray as well. So that actually helped our prayer life. One of the biggest lessons I've learned is that your faith in God can be with you anywhere, in any circumstances. I know my prayers are important to Him wherever I am. I know that I can reach Him wherever I am and He can reach me. Even though we were away from all the Christians that we knew and there weren't many in the city, Christ was still with us. He was strengthening us every day in a place where Christianity is outlawed. It doesn't matter what your surroundings look like. It doesn't matter what is being worshiped around you or being focused on around you. You have to just keep your eyes on Him. I'm Craig. And I'm Stu, and we're the founders of Appian Media. We really hope that you've enjoyed the content that you've just seen. This was only made available through the generous donations of so many of you. We believe that the world should have biblically accurate, visually engaging content about the Bible, and it should be free for everyone. We would encourage you to visit the membership page of appianmedia.org and consider becoming a reoccurring member. Everything that you donate to Appian Media is tax deductible. However you decide to donate, we really appreciate your support.